welcome to an NPTEL course on applied thermodynamics. So this is the second course on thermodynamics where we will see about uh, entropy change, how to calculate the entropy change for a control volume and uh, do some tutorial problems in the first week. Then we will also continue to do more problems because entropy change calculations are extremely important where we try to calculate the entropy generation for the system surroundings as well as the total entropy uh, change for the universe. So we will try to do this for different types of control volumes using two types of tutorials, tutorials 2 and 3 in the week 2. Then we will introduce uh, XRG and uh, several variables involved in defining XRG will be defined both for system as well as uh, for control volume and we will also do some tutorial problems regarding XRG in the week 3. XRG for both system and control volumes will be evaluated using XRG transfer and XRG change processes for several cases and this will be done in tutorials 5 and 6 in week 4. Then we will try to apply these fundamental concepts to cycles. So in the week 5 we will see thermodynamic cycles part 1 in which Rankine cycle that is the steam power plant cycle then uh, different types of Rankine cycles the improvements made to the Rankine cycle etc will be seen then we will also see Brayton cycle which is the gas turbine power plant cycle etc then continuing with the thermodynamic cycles in the week 6 we will see the uh, reciprocating engine cycles like auto cycle diesel cycle and so on so in these two weeks fifth and sixth weeks we will see the first law calculations as well as the second law calculation calculations involving these cycles covering all the processes how to calculate the uh, entropy change for each process and how to calculate the entropy change for the cycle entropy generation first law efficiency as well as the second law efficiencies then the week 7 onwards we will concentrate on applications involving uh, air conditioning and heating and cooling processes where we will see the fundamental concepts of psychrometry in week 7. Some example problems will be solved along with the theory which is covered. Continuing with the psychrometry calculations we will also see the air conditioning processes in the week 8 where tutorial 7 and 8 will be solved with more practical examples and uh, where we will use what is called a psychrometric chart to get the data for, for the states and try to do the heat and mass balances. The week 9 we will start the concepts of uh, combustion thermodynamics in which we will try to apply the first law of thermodynamics to the combustion process that is a reactive system. Before doing that we will cover an important uh, concept called stoichiometry in which the amount of air to be supplied in a combustion chamber will be calculated based upon different scenarios. So stoichiometry is the science of calculating the amount of air required to burn 1 kg of fuel completely that will be the starting point of this combustion thermodynamics. After that by analyzing the products of combustion how we can calculate the air supplied etc will be taught in this particular week and uh, followed by the tutorials uh, on stoichiometry will be covered. In the week 10 we will further do heat and temperature calculations for several types of combustion processes like constant pressure combustion, flow process and constant volume combustors and uh, regarding the temperature calculations we will try to calculate the maximum temperature that can be reached in a combustion system which is called adiabatic flame temperature. Now in this we will also enable some tutorials where we will calculate the adiabatic flame temperature considering the dissociation of the products also where we have to invoke the second law of thermodynamics as well as the first law of thermodynamics. The week 11 and week 12 will focus on compressible flows that is gas dynamics where in the first uh, part of the compressible flow tutorials and lectures we will try to cover the basic compressible flow then the acoustic flow the speed of sound calculations normal shock calculations etc 
in the week 12 or in the second part of the compressible flow or gas dynamic lectures, we will cover the flow through nozzles where the flow of perfect gas like air through nozzle will be covered as well as the flow of steam which is a condensable fluid that also will be covered. So these are the contents for the 12 weeks. The reference books and textbooks are given in this uh, particular uh, slide where you can see that Sontag et al, Moran and Shapiro, Professor Babu's uh, book on uh, fundamentals of engine thermodynamics and Professor Venkatesh's books on basic engine thermodynamics will be the basic textbooks which we can follow. And um, I want to highlight that the lectures for this course, the concept of lectures and the theory concepts have been delivered by Professor V. Babu who has written a book on fundamentals of engineering thermodynamics where the both basic and applied thermodynamic concepts have been clearly illustrated. So this, these lectures are delivered by Professor Babu and uh, he has worked out several examples problem for each lecture content. So for example, if you take this book itself will have several worked examples and uh, these examples have been properly illustrated along with the uh, theory in his lectures. So the theory will be covered appropriately tutorials, extra problems have been added to these lectures where the complete set of uh, material has been delivered in this course. The tutorials for this course have been delivered by myself where you can see that the tutorial problems have been collected by several tutorials and example problems which have been used in the course called Applied Thermodynamics, which is uh, given in the IIT Madras as a core course for uh, master students. So these problems have been clearly illustrated in terms of tutorials and it has been added to each lecture section of the uh, material appropriately as I have told in the course contents. So you can contact me in this email for any doubts uh, regarding this course. I wish you all the best for this course. Thank you.